A Brazilian Senate committee approved a report on Tuesday that calls for an indictment of President Jair Bolsonaro for his handling of the coronavirus pandemic. It includes crimes against humanity and eight other charges. The rapporteur of the report, Senator Renan Caileros, said, quote, The chaos of Jair Bolsonaro's government will enter history as the lowest level of human destitution. The more than 1,300-page report, which took the committee over six months to prepare, alleges nearly 80 other people and two companies committed crimes. Among those in the firing line was the governor of the interior Amazon estate, Wilson Lima, who's been accused of corruption related to the purchasing of medical equipment. Earlier this year, hospitals in the state lacked oxygen supplies, which resulted in deaths by asphyxia. Well, Russia has just concluded large-scale military drills with Tajikistan near its border with Afghanistan. The Taliban takeover there has been a cause for concern for some of its northern neighbors. Tajikistan has refused to recognize the militant's authority and has teamed up with Russia to beef up border security. The tensions come ahead of talks between the Taliban and regional powers. The start of the last day of military exercises in the mountains of Tajikistan. Led by Russian troops, a total of 4,000 Tajik, Belarusian, Kazakh, Kyrgyz and Armenian soldiers are practicing anti-terrorism maneuvers. Ahead of the appeal hearing, Julian Assange supporters continue their demonstrations in central London. Earlier this year, the judge blocked the United States extradition request because of concerns over his mental health and risk of suicide in the US. Assange faces 18 charges, all relating to his publication of half a million classified documents detailing US military campaigns in Afghanistan and Iraq. During the hearing, Assange's lawyers are expected to present a report by Yahoo News which claimed that the CIA was plotting to kidnap or assassinate Assange while he was staying at Ecuador's London embassy for seven years. Assange's lawyer and partner, Stella Morris, likened the threat of extradition to the murder of Washington Post journalist and Saudi dissident Jamal Khashoggi. My clarification of that order. A South African court on Tuesday rejected an application by Jacob Zuma seeking a prosecutor's recusal from his corruption trial. A judge in the Peter Maritzburg court told a hearing attended by Zuma that he was not persuaded by the former president's arguments. This matter then is adjourned to the 11th of April 2022 for trial, set down for starting on that day and for the two terms thereafter. And uh, Mr. Zuma is warned to be at court on the 11th of April 2022 and the representative of the second accused must obviously be present on that day and the pre previous dispensation where he was excused uh, would no longer apply. Zuma had asked that the prosecutor Billy Downer be removed from the case saying he was neither independent nor impartial. Alongside the vaccine, perhaps the best weapon against COVID-19. This orange capsule is Molnupiravir, a medication developed in the United States by the Merck Laboratory. France has already placed an order, even though the European Medicines Agency has not yet approved it. Delivery is expected within a month. France moved very early on this. We have already placed a pre-order. 50,000 doses of this medication will be delivered to France. The antiviral treatment is highly effective, according to Merck. Clinical trials show that Molnupiravir halved the risk of hospitalization and death. It also has a significant size advantage. It's the first anti-COVID medication to be available in capsule form. It's reserved for patients who have tested positive but have not yet been hospitalized. On to Nepal next, where the Supreme Court's routine business was stalled for the third day in a row after the Chief Justice, Cholendra Shamshe Rana, refused to step down. 
Now, Rana has been facing immense pressure from the bar and from 15 out of 21 top court judges. The judges boycotted routine business, demanding that Rana resign to redeem the honor and credibility of the court. This comes amid allegations regarding the Chief Justice's interactions with politicians. Denying allegations that he pushed for his relative to be inducted into the recently formed cabinet, Rana said that he would not resign under pressure or any kind of influence and rather face an impeachment motion. Rana has been accused of making deals with politicians and seeking a ministerial berth for his brother-in-law, who was appointed as a minister on October 8th, but resigned less than 72 hours after his induction. Southern Madagascar is facing its worst drought in 40 years. The level of hunger here is so severe, the UN warns it could soon lead to the world's first famine caused by climate change. The tropical island country in the Indian Ocean that's used to cyclones, heavy rainfall and drought has seen an alarming decline in rainfall in recent years, affecting small farmers and cattle herders. People in southern Madagascar have seen their incomes decline even more. Water is scarce, fields have dried up, crops have died and there is little food. Some are eating locusts, cactus and even mud just to survive.